Sunday because I am not doing the Saturdays anymore, it seems. But really what's going on is that um, I just find more time on Sundays these days, uh, but I'm still always going to make sure that there's a video every single week. So you just came to this channel and you're looking at this and you're thinking like, what are you even talking about? And who are you? And can we just get straight to the point? And you're absolutely right. We should get straight to the point. But let me just tell you real quick. I'm Caitlin. I'm from GBR Life. And this is a review about Bio FM. So, let's get into this. I do videos every Saturday, even though it's Sunday, but let's not think about that. Let's focus on the fact that it's usually every Saturday, and let's get into, like I said, BioFem. Seriously, this time, we're going to get into BioFem. Okay, here we are. We are inside of BioFM. So right when you log in, this is exactly what it looks like. Well, not exactly. Obviously, I have things already created. Um, and it's already created because I already have my um, site up. Well, this specific site. So let's get into this. Um, now, first and foremost, if you are interested in doing this, you're doing this because you're looking for a specific location to add in all of your links where you are telling everybody where to go in order to find you and the things that you do in other locations. And I'm saying this because this is um, this is all being done like Linktree, um, but in a different manner in which it's more of like a widget versus a link um, for everyone to be able to find out more about you versus an actual website. For example, if I go to my actual website, gbrlive.com, you'll see my website has a ton of different things that you can do and go into and, um, you know, check out. Um, so if you are interested in that, of course, go to gbrlife.com, good, bad, real life. Um, and you can see if you're going to go into other stuff, you see other stuff. Okay, but I'm not going to do that because you're interested in BioFM. That's why you're on this video. So that's a website, but this is not a website. This is a website technically, but it's really just for you to find out everything that you need to know about um, all the things that you are doing, right? So for example, if you are a musician and you are wanting people to listen to your songs and you have it on Spotify, you want that here. Um, if you have a website like I do and you want people to join your uh, mailing list, you can add something like that here. I also have um, a uh, clothing line, so I just put the link to that. So you have the options of doing things more like this or you have the option of just doing it like a link. Kind of like Linktree, kind of like Solo 2, but the difference is, again, it's like a widget feel. Um, the way that this all looks is like widgets, like a widget, a widget, a widget, um, in that sense. And then you have, I would say more like a widget, a widget, a link, a link. Um, so it's a little more customizable, a little bit nicer, but nothing too dramatic either. If I go over to edit blocks, Okay, you'll see that you have the option of moving these blocks around, editing the actual block, very customizable in there as well, or deleting a block entirely. Now I want to add some content, right? Because of course that's what everyone's going to want to do can add links and websites, social icons, which you saw that, about me, Giphy, SoundCloud, newsletter, question, poll, Spotify, and you'll see that some of these things are located in the same thing, the uh, uh, same exact uh, option is located in a different area, and that's because they're trying to say, if you're trying to do a bio, you can do it with these different options. If you're trying to just do a new block, you can have all these options. If you want YouTube, subscribe, Twitter, Medium, Twitch, music, more like widgets, Discord, LinkedIn, email, you have all those options as well, which are pretty awesome. But I just wanna do that link right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Next, GBR Life website. Check out GBR Life today and it's at gbrlife.com oops dot com okay you also have the option of because this is a pro um, option it tells you that 
So of course they don't want you to do the free option. Um, free is free. Pro is $10 a month or $100 a year. So you save $20. Um, you can change the color if you do the pro version. I'm going to leave it at that. Actually, I'll do this so you guys can just kind of see it. And you can schedule the link. You can make it there for however long you want that to be. Like, for example, if you're going to go live and you want people to see you go live, if you're an influencer, you can do that and you just schedule that link for them to be able to see it during that time frame. And then it goes away automatically. I don't want to add more links, but of course, if you wanted to add more links, you could. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that block. Okay. And again, this is kind of what it's going to look like when you see the actual page. I mean, this is pretty much the actual page just without this, but you can make it even more um, customized and I'll show you that in just a moment, but I'm going to go over here to, this is the dashboard, but you can go to analytics and let's discuss analytics real quick. Um, kind of important if you're somebody who's a business or even somebody who's an influencer, first thing you're going to see is just your regular dashboard. In your dashboard, you're basically just seeing um, people going to the actual site and how many times they're clicking. Then you can go to your actual blocks to see if somebody is clicking more often on that specific block. So you do have to do a little bit more um, into it, you know, and actually to see what's going on. Okay. And then in your settings, you have your account, you can upgrade, you can do the subscriptions, um, you can change your theme, apps, and then Facebook Pixel is basically analytics, but using Facebook to do so. And apps are basically, um, if you go back to the dashboard and you see that you have those uh, different um, options um, for like Twitter and uh, SoundCloud and stuff. Those are your apps and you can man manage them right here. But I want to click on themes. Do so you see that I have a white background? I can change that to dark, pink, blue, or I can make it into anything I want. I mean, very customizable in that capacity. A little bit more customizable than um, uh, Linktree in that capacity, but it, it's also very similar to Linktree. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back, go back to the dashboard. And I now showed you a little bit more of it being a little bit more customizable. Okay, so now you have an idea of what BioFM looks like when you're adding different um, widgets and so forth, but now I want to show you what it looks like live. So I'm lazy, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy the URL. And now one thing about it is in order to really see it, I'm going to, of course, publish. Um, you have to actually log out or it's just going to keep taking you to the uh, area for you to continue to edit. So I'm going to do that. And now you can see Bio FM and this is what it looks like inside. Remember, I colored that blue. So it's a little bit more uh, of a standard out, <laughs> standard out of something that would stand out, a link that would stand out a little bit better. You can find me in all these different places because I already added those things. Um, and I don't want to waste everyone's time and going to every little aspect, but just to give you an idea of this is what BioFM kind of looks like. Very similar to the way that you saw it when you were doing the actual, uh, or when I was doing the actual blocks. Um, it just didn't show for you to quickly click on the link or for you to um, talk to them. And then that's pretty much it. But let me just show you quickly the difference between that and Solo 2. Oops. And Linktree. So Linktree, just your links and your socials. BioFM links, a little bit more of a widget feel here. And these are embedded. So of course you're going to get the embedded code in order to put that in here. Very quick and easy. You just go to that website and then you say share and it'll say, do you want the link or the embedded? And then you click on it or you copy the embedded information and add it the same way you added that link. So it's really easy um, to do that. And then solo two, it's more than just widgets like this is actually uh, the you'll actually see this video over here soon. Um, 
you can uh, put entire playlists and stuff like that in um, Solo 2. And I would suggest that you actually go look at the Solo 2 um, video as well because that's my favorite. I do have a preference, so I am telling you that. But this could work great for a lot of different people as well. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you want it to be clean but simple, my suggestion though is never to make anything look too congested. In my eyes, I feel like this is just a tad bit congested. Um, and that people are not going to scroll and do as much here. But it just depends on what um, you're looking for, like I said. But this could work for a lot of people. I know some people already said they love this a thousand times more than they love Linktree. Um, and I, like I said, prefer Solo too. So that's it. So I hope you were looking for exactly what I showed you in this video. If you have any other questions or any suggestions, you just let me know and I'll make another video. Um, I love doing things that people um, want and I actually created these uh, different videos just because somebody asked for more content um, to, to be seen inside of BioFM and Solo2 and Linktree. So that's why these uh, came out. So if you are interested in anything else, I also have a um, parenting hack video, which I'm going to be doing next week. Uh, I do videos every Saturday, but in this case it was Sunday, it is what it is. Um, but other than that, I'm going to continue to do uh, screenshots, um, screen recording like this for you all to continue to see different types of software and websites that you can use for your business. So please come back for more. Um, I have an entire review um, playlist as well. So you can go ahead and look at that. Um, and don't forget to subscribe until next week. I can't wait to talk to all of you. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and look at any of the links that I have. Okay. Have a great one. See you next week. Bye-bye.